Hi guys, I'm Jeff, the guitarist of One Time Mountain, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to automate your patch changes inside the Bosch GT100. Before we get started, we're going to need a few things. The GT100, a MIDI to USB cable, and a laptop. Let's get started. So first things you're going to want to do is hit System, and you're going to come over to this screen and you're going to scroll until you see the MIDI settings. First here we got the RX channel. I have mine set to 10. This helps a lot if you have more than one member using one of these. Um, my guitar player Brian has his set to 16 so we don't have any interference and no one gets confused. Next up we have the Omni mode which we have set to on. This basically allows you to send MIDI to all the different channels for more members. Next you have the TX channel which we have set to RX. And finally we have device ID which I also have set to 10. Now that we have those settings, let's move on to page two. First up, we have the sync clock, which we have set to auto. Next in line, we have the MIDI in select, which we have set to USB auto. We have the MIDI out select, which we have USB slash MIDI. Now, if you want, you can use a USB cable to do this, but I'm using an old MIDI cable. And finally, we have the map select, which is fix. Now that we got our pedal board set up, let's grab our MIDI cable and our laptop and get started. Now we'll be moving on to our laptop. You're gonna open up your DAW. In this tutorial, we'll be using Reaper. Let's go up to the corner here and click on Reaper. And then we will click on Preferences. And we wanna go down to MIDI Devices and come over here and right click on your USB cable. This will allow you to send messages to the Boss GT100. And you wanna make sure that both your inputs and your outputs are enabled. Next step, we're gonna to wanna to create a new track and name it. I've gone ahead and named mine Rhythm Guitar Auto. Next, we're gonna come over to the arm track and we're gonna right click, and come down to Input MIDI. Come over to USB Generic, which is my cable, and come down to my channel, which is channel 10. Now that you've done that, let's go back up and arm it for record. Now that we have that set, let's go up top here and click Insert. Come down to New MIDI Item, Double click on that. Now you should see a piano roll. We're gonna come up to this blank space and right click. Come down to view and open up your event list. Now let's go ahead and right click on our event list. Click insert new event. Change your type to program change. Place your position to where you'd like the change to happen. Next we'll select our MIDI channel and set it to 10 and the value will be the patch number we want. First, let's automate from patch one to patch two. Let's start by entering in patch one. Keep in mind that for whatever patch you would like to choose, subtract one. Now, for example, for patch one, we're gonna type in zero. If you'd like patch five, you'd type in four. And if you'd like patch 10, you'd type in nine. Now we'll go ahead and enter in patch one, so we'll type in zero. Next, you're gonna to wanna to set your playhead to the next section of your song and we're going to repeat the same process. Again, keep in mind that whatever patch number you would like to subtract one. For this, we're choosing patch two, so we'll type in one. Now when the playhead moves, it should also change on the pedal board. One thing we like to do is set up a test region with random patches inside to make sure that everything changes correctly before our set. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something today. If you liked what you saw, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment. If you have any questions, feel free to send us a message and we'll try and get back to you.